All right, Misha here, and tonight I'm going to do a kind of, well, it's not a flip cup and, and drag. Um, it's actually going to be more of a dirty pour, but a very simple layered dirty pour. So my son loved the flame painting that I did in a previous video. Just one This one, if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, he really liked that. And he wanted one for himself. So, but his favorite colors are seafoam green and aqua. So he asked me to do one a little bit opposite of that one. So a white black background with a little bit of aqua, silver, and black. So I've got my white mixed up here and my white is just the Artist Loft uh, titanium white that I almost always use. And then the silver right here is a little bit of the Artist Loft uh, silver flow acrylic. Right here I've got the Liquitex Basics aqua green. And over here I've got Liquitex Basics Mars black. So I'm going to try to make this um, as simple as I can. I always tend to add a little bit more paint than I should, than I want. Um, so I'm going to try to be real light on that. And I'm going to stack the greens. I want more green than black or silver. So um, I'm going to have to layer that the right way so that the green pops up. So we'll see how this goes. Let's get started.
Okay, so this turned out nothing like the other painting, <laughs> the flame painting, but I do really like this. Um, it, as you can see, I kind of struggled with um, the silver taking over and not having the separation between the black and the uh, aqua. So I kept layering in the white and layering in some more black and I'm hoping the black kind of comes up. As you could see when I torched it, especially where I would hit um, certain areas, I would hit the black would pop out. So that's, I was just gonna do a couple little torch marks but when I saw that black coming back out, I, uh, I kept going with it a little bit more. So this, I think I'm going to let sit and uh, see what it does. Let me bring it in for a closer look. Um, I love this little trailing part. I do like how I got the, the thicker band. I did achieve the thicker band right here, and then it gets a little thinner, and then it tapers off. Um, I know that doesn't seem difficult, but sometimes <laughs> in my world it has been. Um, so, yeah, I think I need to just let this sit and relax and see if anything changes. But for now, it's all glossy and really pretty, and I'm going to bring you guys in to get a closer look.